I'm doing a rant on the Pokemon Reality Mobile game where people can capture, battle, and train Pokemon on device screens looking as though the Pokemon are actually in the real world. It seems and looks like a cool game. But the problem is Pokemon Go is causing all kinds of Poke problems for certain people. Victims have been injured, robbed, stabbed. Thank God none of them died. These two guys were involved in a car crash due to Pokemon Go distracting them. It's bad enough we have people driving while texting leading them to injury or death. But driving while playing Pokemon Go is really pushing it. And thank God those two are okay. There was also a YouTuber named Nancy Poo who was playing the game with a friend ended up in the middle of nowhere at night. All of a sudden some guy asked them a question twice saying, Hey, what are y'all doing here? I guess they were on his property. Then he starts shooting. The two survived. Unfortunately, there was a death involved. A 19-year-old woman named Shayla Wiggins in Wyoming was minding her own business playing Pokemon Go on her smart app phone until she saw a corpse of a man found in the river by her house. Shayla cried when seeing the man in the river, also started shaking and calling 911. She responded saying, it's heartbreaking that I'm getting famous and he's unknown, as Shayla expressed sympathy for the deceased man, his family and friends. Also, I don't even know why this article says that she's a teenager, that she's a 19-year-old girl. Uh, last time I checked, by the time you turn 18, you're pretty much known as an adult, not a child. You're not a child anymore by the time you turn 18. And she's 19, so she's technically not a child. She's an adult. She's a 19-year-old woman, not a teenager. I don't know why this article got her as a teenager. I don't know, but it doesn't matter. But poor Shayla. It's too bad she had to witness that. The deceased man died due to an accidental drowning. What I want to know is what caused him to end up drowning in the river in the first place? Was it Pokemon Go related? Was the man probably playing the game until he tripped on maybe a rock or whatever, falling into the river where the man probably couldn't swim and caused him to drown? So he wasn't murdered, nor injured, thank God, but it is still sad that he died when accidentally ended up drowning. That's all I have to say about Pokemon Go. So when playing Pokemon Go, people need to make sure not to get so distracted from reality. We don't need people getting injured, stabbed, robbed, dying, and ending up in car crashes. Hell, there was even this one guy named Alex Ramirez, and he pretty much saw this guy come out of his truck at a church, and he thought that he was playing Pokemon Go. But apparently he wasn't as he dumps a person's body on the ground. And I believe it was a woman. So who knows who the woman was? I don't know if that was the guy who was uh, he saw in a truck at the church, his girlfriend or what. I don't know. But that's pretty effed up to see him drop the woman on the ground and just leaving her lifeless body like that. And then all of a sudden he starts freaking out because the guy was following him. Seriously? And this was at night. I mean, the guy was so scared, he had to call 911 while driving. And maybe people should not even play Pokemon Go outside at night, because anything can happen. I don't want anyone ending up in the middle of nowhere wondering where they are. There are all kinds of bugaboos who could possibly be up to no good, where you'll end up in danger. I mean, there are some crazy, dangerous people in the world. Houdini is right. The freeze come out at night. The freeze come out at night. Yeah, there are some freaks that do come out at night and they are looking for some trouble. Especially being so desperate, they feel the need to hurt someone over something that's not even serious. It's like, when did we as human beings in this world started to become so desperate where we feel the need that we have to hurt people to get what we want because of us being so desperate? Like, when did this all happen? Because I'm tired of hearing people getting hurt or dying over something that's not even serious something so stupid i mean i don't give a rat's ass if you're desperate that doesn't give you the right or make sense for you to go around hurting people because you don't have this or that that so and so has until you have enough money you just gonna have to wait and get the pokemon go or whatever the hell you want don't be stupid 
going around thinking you can hurt people all willy-nilly because you have this and that. Being desperate ain't a good thing. You're not solving anyone's problems. That just makes you a desperate piece of crap that needs help and needs to get his or her ass together. What the hell? Yeah, so just be careful playing Pokemon Go. Well, this has been my video. I hope you enjoyed. Tell me your thoughts on uh, Pokemon Go and people being distracted by it and all the robberies and injuries and car crashes that's been going on because of Pokemon Go and the death of the poor man found in the river. Alright, that's it.